Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. I'm recording this review on the day that the Green Glow Jordan 3s drop. They're not really in high demand. I think they're going to be pretty easy to get. They might even go on sale, but I think it's a good looking colorway on a classic silhouette. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Jordan 3s in the Green Glow colorway. So starting with the box, we can see that it's the same kind of box we've been getting for threes. The colors match the shoe, but on the left hand side, we've got that elephant print like we'll see on the threes. The tag reads Air Jordan 3 Retro. The colors are black, green glow, and wolf gray. I grabbed a size 10 and a half in this pair. Retail, I believe, was 210 US dollars. I used status rewards to get $20 off. All in with the coupon, I paid $190. I don't think they charged me any tax, so that was a nice surprise. And enough talking about that box. Here is our first look at the Green Glow Jordan 3. I'm telling you what, that green really does look like it's glowing with this nice dark black base. And I like the way these look. I'm a big fan of threes. The older I get, it seems like I like threes more and more. The leather quality is decent on here. I wouldn't say it's as good as like the bread fours that we just got or anything. But the leather's decent. And what I really like is just that they came out really clean. The paint looks nice and neat especially around that air unit. I really just like the way that green glow pops off of there. I don't think that anybody needs to be in a rush to go get these. I would imagine that they'll probably perform a lot like the Fear 3s did that we just saw. It's a very good looking pair of shoes, but it's not like it's an OG colorway. We've seen this color scheme before, but I think that was on a pair of 4s. The green really reminds me of like a mint green or almost like a Tiffany green. For anybody that's looking to build their sneaker collection or doesn't have any threes in their collection, I think this would be a good one to add just because it seems like the quality is on point, but also I think they'll be more comfortable than what most threes are. I think threes are way more comfortable than fours, but that being said, it is pretty outdated technology and they're not the most comfortable shoe whenever it comes to modern shoes. But with that tongue being so soft, I just think these shoes are gonna be much more comfortable than what we're used to getting for Jordan 3s. Starting with the outsole, you can see that it's the standard three tread pattern. I like how the perimeter is all that wolf gray. We've got some white and then some mint green Jordan branding. There at the midfoot, up underneath the forefoot, we have our pivot points in black. Similar to liking these colors on the upper of the shoe, I think this outsole looks nice and classic as well. Then as we come up to the midsole, you can see that for the most part, we've just got white painted foam. And then on the heel, we've also got some black painted foam. And it's nice and shiny. It's not like a flat finish. Both this paint on the foam and the leather on the upper kind of seem like it's got more of a shiny finish than what we've been seeing on some releases here lately. As I already mentioned, the paint looks clean as can be and i'm always a big fan of that it looks like inside of the air unit is white i was kind of hoping that they would make that the glow green color inside of there just because i think for the fear threes it's a really nice accent having that hit of orange inside of there but it looks nice like this i can't complain it came with this little piece of cardboard behind the heel tab but i'll take that out so you can get a real look at how it appears Sometimes they do that, sometimes they don't, but in this pair it had the little cardboard behind it. Coming to the upper of the shoe, of course this being a three, we have this nice elephant print here on the mug guard, and then we also have it at the base of the heel wrapping around the back. And it looks like this elephant print is all pretty uniform. We also have that elephant print here by the eye stays for that little accent. That's either a new buck or a suede material, but it looks nice. I like the shade of gray that it is. And it's just a classic look that always takes me back to the late 80s, early 90s, whenever I see this elephant print. Just underneath of that elephant print here in the front, we've got what feels like a synthetic smooth leather for this black wrapping around the toe box. When we get to the actual base of the upper, it's got a really nice texture. 
it's got a nice feel it's soft it's not the softest leather i've felt but it is a decent quality and i really like the texture that we have on there it's not too much and it does just give it a natural look so i really like that material and of course it looks great in this black color with these hits of elephant print in the wolf gray We've got little plastic accents here at the base of the eye stays, here at the eyelets, and then at the top of the eye stays for this eyelet here as well. Of course, we've got this heel tab, and that's like a thick rubber material, but we've got the Green Glow Jumpman, and it really does pop off of there. For the base of the tongue, and then up around the collar, we have this wolf gray. It looks like suede, but it's got all these little perforations in it. I really like the way that that looks. At the top of the tongue, I was really surprised to see that we've got a nice soft suede in that wolf gray color. And once again, you've got that green glow jump man popping off of there. They only gave us black laces in here. I think that gray or white laces would also look really good, but I wouldn't mess with it. I think it looks fine as is. Our sock liner is that fuzzy kind of cotton material, and that's in a wolf gray color. The back of the tongue is in that glow green color, as well as our insole is glow green. Really, the more that I look at these, they kind of remind me of mint chocolate chip ice cream, and I'm a big fan of that. So I'll take that. These are like the mint chocolate chip Jordan 3s. That was a pretty quick look at these Jordan 3s in the green glow colorway. Honestly, I don't know that I'll be hanging on to these. This isn't one that I have to have in my collection. I think they came out very well, and I always like seeing nice quality and a clean execution on a Jordan Retro. But that being said, it's not one that I really need in my collection. I have a good many threes, and when I think about recent threes that I picked up, most notably the Craft 3s. I like those way more than this pair. If I had to pick these or the Craft 3s, I'd go with the Craft 3s. I would say that these are just as good as the Fear 3s, but again, I don't know that people will want these quite as much because the Fear 3 is a colorway that we've seen before. But anyhow, let me know what you all think about these. Let me know if you grab these or if maybe you're waiting because I do think you'll be able to get them at a bargain if you're just patient. But anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I will catch you all on the next one. I'm out.